On Wednesday, the Obama administration will announce it has reached an agreement with Cuba to reopen embassies and restore diplomatic relations. The formal unveiling of a deal would fulfill a pledge the former Cold War rivals made more than six months ago, when U.S. President Barack Obama and Cuban President Raul Castro announced a historic diplomatic opening. The two leaders met in Panama in April. A senior administration official says President Barack Obama in Washington and Secretary of State John Kerry in Vienna for Iran nuclear talks will both address the issue. A similar announcement is likely to be made by Cuba's communist government. Kerry is likely to travel to Havana during the week of July 20th for a flag-raising ceremony to reopen the American embassy. Both countries can now upgrade their so-called interest sections in Havana and Washington into full-blown embassies, with ambassadors to be appointed later. Restoration of relations would be the latest phase in a normalization process, which is expected to move slowly because of lingering problems over issues like Cuba's human rights record. A U.S. embargo will remain in place, and only Congress can lift it.